Today, we are going to talk about Buddhism, and how can Buddhism help us in our daily life. In Buddhism, we always refer the founder, Lord of Buddha as our teacher who is pointing us the way to liberate from suffering. Everyone has the equal chance to liberate from suffering as long as you follow the hardship according to his teaching. Buddha believes that we are made of body and mind. Or we can say we are made of physical and mental object together. Nowadays, there are many research information about our physical health and it helps us to a better understand about our body. However, there is limited research information about the mental health because the mind is hard to study by the other people. For example, it is easier to know the way to lose our weight as compared to the way to lower our anxiety. By taking a drop of your blood, doctor can understand something about your body. However, it is difficult for a doctor to feel your feeling. Fortunately, we can find the explanation and solution about our mental from Buddha's teaching. Now, let's see what are the teachings from Buddha. The basic teachings of Buddha, are The Three Universal Truths The Four Noble Truths And the Noble Eightfold Path Let us start with the Three Universal Truths which are also the essence of the universe. Human being is also part of the universe, so it is important for us to know the truths. With the right view about the universe, it makes us understand ourselves better. Number 1. Impermanence Both the physical objects and mental formations are changing. It won't last forever. For example, people born and die. Our mood changing, temperature is changing. Every day, we can feel impermanence around us things keep changing. A changing means an end and also a new beginning. It is a process but not a result and it gives both positive and negative meaning to us. The truth of impermanence does not make us suffer, suffering arises only when we have a wrong view and cling to it. By accepting the truth of impermanence, it really helps our mind stay still and calm. Number 2, Unsatisfactory, Suffering Things become suffering or imperfect because of things always change. Happiness, unhappiness and so on are constantly arising because they are characteristics of the world. For example, when the ears hear something that pleasing, we feel happy. What about the feeling of hearing noise? As long as we give meaning to things, the suffering is born. Both good and bad are from the same origin. So, Buddha tells us to walk the middle way in order to end the suffering. Due to impermanence characteristic, good will turn bad and bad will turn good. This cycle will never end if we cling to either one. We can see peace when we start letting go. Just like, we can see stars with absence of cloud. Peace is within us. Number 3, Non-Self. It means there is nothing. It sounds unreasonable because it challenges something very basic to our assumptions about life. It is deep and profound, the idea of a self is merely a concept or illusion. For example, we can't touch the same water in the river but it is possible to touch the same river again. In fact, river is made of moving water. We call the body a person myself, but ultimately there is no me, only earth, fire, water, and air elements that have combined temporarily. If we truly own the body, we can stop it for growing old and our nails to grow. Buddha made a distinction between ultimate truth and conventional truth. For billions of people living together, convention is needed. However, it is suffering if we take conventional truth as the ultimate truth. Argument and fighting will never end. By the practice of deep meditation, combined with careful investigation uncovers the truth of anatta, so that the illusion of a self can be removed.
have some rest. And we will carry on the Four Noble Truths and Noble Eightfold Paths in next video.